Your this is Perp back with another video, and I just got done watching the Salem's Lot remake. Now, this movie has just I'm surprised it even has dropped, you know what I'm saying? It was just in limbo for many, many fucking years, and I feel like some of that anticipation or just that waiting is going to kind of hurt this movie for a lot of people, and not only that. They ended up just not releasing this in theaters. They put it on Max, talking about WB. Was that a smart decision? I'll get into that later on, but this is just going to be my thoughts on this movie. So I stayed away from watching the original, you know what I'm saying? Because even though I haven't seen that movie in a, in a while, I want to. I wanted to go into this with fresh eyes. This has a really pretty stat cast. Um, you have this, our main character, Ben, that comes back into town after like 25 years after his parents die. There's some weird things going on in the town of Salem or Jerusalem, you know what I'm saying? And it's just one of those small, weird towns. Everybody knows everybody's business. Ben kind of falls for this girl named Susan. So there's this kind of love story going on. But then these kids start to kind of disappear. This is where we get introduced to Mark's character. Mark, I gotta say this, Mark is a legendary character just off rip. He is the best part of this whole entire movie. You know what I'm saying? He's the like the new kid. The bullies try to pick on him. He ends up uh, bullying the bullies, <laughs> you know? And he makes friends with um, Danny or Dan and his brother Ralph, but they end up fucking missing, you know, in other words, dead. You have this creepy guy just stealing kids, feeding him or sacrificing uh, these kids to Barlow, the main antagonist of this whole entire movie, the main vampire. And I like that in this movie that people are self-aware that vampires do exist. It is, however, a bit of a slow burn. You don't get to see a lot of Barlow. He probably has the least amount of screen time, considering the runtime's almost two hours long. I'm going to get into that as well, because I definitely feel like watching this movie, I, there's there's something missing. There, there feels like a lot of scenes were cut, because there'll there'll be certain instances where characters will be in one spot, and then transport themselves into the next scene and it's just like how the fuck did you get there it's it's definitely a mess i will say the movie definitely feels a bit chopped up um i don't know if that was intentional maybe i don't know maybe there's like a director's cut out there or something like that the 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 flow of the movie isn't that great but what is great about this movie is mark mark is the main character Fuck Ben. Ben, Ben, you know what I'm saying? Damn near feels like a side character in this movie, to be honest, because Mark has some of the most elite moments in this film. Catches hella bodies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my highlight. And you also have the great Alfred Wooder. She's incredible in this. Her just reaction to certain things, like bodies popping up or even seeing vampires in the flesh her reaction is so genuine and man it's such a shame how she goes out in this movie bro but god damn there's some really dope action scenes in this you know just a lot of gore it just it just sucks that the story and just the way that this movie was structured wasn't that good that being said it's still entertaining i would definitely recommend checking this movie out i think People will have a fun time with this movie regardless. It's not one of the worst horror movies. Are some of the special effects kind of uh, a little corny? Like the glowing eyes and whenever somebody has a cross, that shit lights up like a fucking Christmas tree. Yes, that stuff is kind of corny and cheesy, but you know, you kind of run with it as the movie goes on. But the characters themselves are okay, you know? They're not better than like Dr. Cody or Mark, 
Ben is all right, but like I said, he's kind of like he's kind of forgettable in this. I enjoyed it. Overall, found the movie entertaining for the most part. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. Do you prefer this version of Salem's Lot or the original? And did the delays and the constant pushing this movie back and just throwing on on streaming did it kind of kill your anticipation and kill your hype let me know how you guys feel about this film in the comments below till next time i will see y'all in the next one peace